In Southern California, the death of a bishop with the Archdiocese of Los Angeles is now being handled as a murder investigation. Leanne Sutter has the latest details. Devastated parishioners gather by the crime scene tape as deputies investigate the suspicious death of Auxiliary Bishop David O'Connell. Broke me. You know, I was actually um, scared to tell my wife, you know, because my wife loved him so much. Authorities were called to the home on Jan Lu Avenue in Hacienda Heights around 1 p.m. for a person who was not breathing. It was learned that the person was found deceased in the room, bleeding, with what we believe is an apparent gunshot wound to his upper torso. At this point, investigators are only calling it a death investigation. The 69-year-old has served the L.A. Archdiocese for 45 years, first as a priest and then bishop. During evening mass, Archbishop Jose Gomez expressing his shock and sadness as he announced the sudden death. Bishop Day was a man of deep prayer, but a great love for our Blessed Mother. He was a peacemaker with a heart for the poor and the immigrant. He was also a good friend, and I will miss him great, greatly. Let's pray for all the people who are buried here. Bishop O'Connell was well-loved and well-known throughout the Los Angeles area, his parishioners describing him as a quiet but powerful leader. He was so soft-spoken. He was a humble soul. He, he was not the type that would have confrontations with nobody. He was very loving, and he had like a gift of healing. When you would attend his ceremonies, it was like a gift of healing. Authorities say the investigation is ongoing at this time, but police do not believe there is any threat to the public.